Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Nedla and Fricelli. This amazing chess game was played in New York in 1983. Nedla had white pieces and he started with e4. Fricelli played e5. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. Bishop to c4. The Italian game. Bishop to c5. And Nedla castle at king's side. Knight to f6. d3. d6. Bishop to g5. Pinning the knight. Asking a question. Bishop to h4. Keeping the pin. Black to move. Should black play g5 or not? Is g5 a risky move? Fritschelli played g5 unpinning. Usually. Players don't plan to castle a king's side when they play a move like this. Bishop to g3, black to move. Black would love to play h5 and then h4. But if h5 is played then the pawn on g5 has no defender. How should black continue? Maybe bishop to e6. Fritschelli played h5. Did he forget about his pawn on g5? The threat is h4. Knight takes on g5, threatening to take the pawn on f7. How to defend the pawn on f7? What would you do now? Fritschelli played h4, attacking the bishop. Knight takes on f7, forking the queen and the rook. Black to move. Which piece to save? I guess it is obvious. Black must save the queen. Black must play queen to e7. What do you think? There was a surprise. Fritschelli played pawn takes bishop. White to move. Player with the white pieces played the obvious move. Knight takes queen. What else? If knight takes on h8, one line goes like this. Bishop takes on f2, king to h1, queen to e7, and black is better. Let's go back. If h3 is played, then pawn takes pawn on f2, check, and after king to h1, bishop takes on h3. After pawn takes bishop, queen to d7 is winning. Back to our game. Knight takes queen. And now black plays the obvious. What is the obvious? This is not the best move. Fritschelli played the best move. Bishop to g4 attacking the queen. White to move. H takes on g3 was played. There is quite a few games in the database when white played queen to d2 and lost after knight to d4 because black is threatening a deadly knight to e2 or knight to f3 check. Back to our game. In this game, instead of queen to d2, player with white pieces played h takes on g3, black to move. What would you do? I think bishop takes queen is too tempting, isn't it? Would you take the queen? Bishop takes queen was expected, but it was a surprise. King takes knight. Wow! What is going on in this game? Let's take it back. Well, king takes knight is better than bishop takes queen. If bishop takes on d1, knight takes on b7, and white is still in the game. Back to our game. We have king takes on d8. c3 preventing knight to d4. Let's take it back. If queen to d2, knight to d4, and then black is threatening knight to e2, check. If knight to c3, then knight to f3, check. And after pawn takes knight, bishop takes on f3. And how to stop checkmate on h1. Back to our game. c3. And now player with the black pieces played an ordinary move. What is an ordinary move? He captured the queen, believe it or not. Rook takes bishop, knight to g4, rook to f1. 
rook to f8 more pressure on the pawn on f2 king to h1 knight takes on f2 check play with the black pieces then i want to go to g1 he went to h2 black play the move and white resigned and the move is what would you do the move is rook to h8 white resigned in view of this continuation king to g1 and then in a slow motion rook to h1 check mate wow this is an art of the attack what an amazing game what do you think of this amazing king hunting game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.